Hello, welcome to On Track TV. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to format text. So I have a bunch of text written here on my page, and I'm going to click on the Windows tab at the top right here, and I'm going to go down to where it says Character. So we're formatting your characters today. And it opens up the panel, and you can click and drag this and move it wherever you want, but I'm going to click it and bring it right there so it's close and we can see everything at the same time. So as usual, you're going to have to highlight all the words that you want to make edits to. So I'm going to just select everything and I'm going to go through each of these options here. So similar to the text tool, you have options to change your font where it shows what the font looks like on the right hand side and the name of the font on the left hand side. So you can play around with these. I'm going to keep mine sure just on Arial rounded here. As you can see, this is grayed out, and this is basically you choose your font, and then you can kind of choose the type of the font. And depending on the font you choose, you'll either have this available to you or not. So for Arial Rounded, I don't have that option, but if I click it down again and go up to Arial, then I do have a bunch of options here. And you can click on bold, narrow, whatever you want. Okay, so I'll click on narrow. Then we have the option to change the size, the font size. So you can make it 48, you can make it 11 point, whatever you want. Let's maybe make this an 18 point font. After that, we have something called Leto, and this changes the spaces between the lines. So I recommend to keep it on auto, but you can either make it number six, and that will squish all of your sentences together, or you can make it a very large number, like 60, and it'll stretch out each of your lines. So like I said, keep it on auto, and Photoshop will do all the work for you and make it look crisp and good spacing. The next option we have is something called tracking, and this changes the spaces between each word. So if you make it something negative, then it's going to squish the words together in every single line, whereas if you make it something large and positive, it's going to stretch out the spaces between each word. Usually keeping it at zero is a good guess and a good place to keep it at. The next option over, we have something called kerning, and this changes the spacing between each letter. So you need to choose specific words that you want to change spacing between, specific letters, and you can either choose something very negative, which will squish them together, or something very positive, which is going to stretch them out once again. So just remember, the, this one is to change spacing between letters, and this one is to change spacing between words. The next option we have over is going to change either your vertical stretch or your horizontal stretch. So 100% is usually what to keep it at to make it look normal. But if I highlight all these words and I make this something like 200, then it stretches it vertically out. Like I said, let's keep it at 100, and I'll just show you what the horizontal one looks like. If I make it 200, it stretches the words horizontally, or if I make it something like 2, it's going to squish them together. Look how small those lines are. Squished it completely together. So like I said, let's just keep that at 100. We can also change the color. You click on it, the color selector opens up. You can then choose whichever color you want. That changed it. Let's just keep it at blue. Then down here you have a lot of different options here. So if this makes everything bolded, click it again and it unbolds it. This will make it italicized. This will make everything capitalized. This will make everything lowercase. This is superscript and subscript. So down here I kind of have examples of that. If you want that two to be below, then you just highlight it and make it subscript and then 10 to the power of two to make that two above it. I made it superscript, so you have those options there. And then you also have the options to underline all your words or to strike through all of your words and add lines through them all. By clicking it again, it undoes whatever you've clicked. And then down here you have the option to choose language. So if right now I'm on English, obviously, but if I choose maybe Greek or German, then it's going to sort of spell check to that and it'll say that I've spelled everything wrong because I am writing in English. And then here you have the ink options. Once again, either making it sharp, crisp, strong, whatever type of ink options you want to have there. So that is sort of the advanced way to format your text, taking it a step farther than just using the text tool and then editing it from the top hand side, but actually bringing out the character panel and changing the exact positioning of each of your words. And I actually forgot to mention one little editing option you have here. This raises specific words. So for example, if I highlight this word when here and I go over to the raising text option, right now it's at zero, but let's say I made it something like 20, it raises the word up to one to up a bit. If I make it something like um, 
200 too, that raised it all the way up there. But if I make it something maybe like, let's try three, it just raises it a bit. Make it something like five, raises it a bit more. So always keeping that at zero is gonna keep it in line with everything else. So thanks so much for tuning in to On Track TV. I will see you in the next lesson.